With a CNC plasma cutting machine, if you can dream it, you can create it. The possibilities are endless. Hello, my name is Dick Roberts. I'm a professional photographer, videographer, and metal artist. I'm going to show you some of the methods I use to do my metal work. When I'm creating parts for my metal artwork, I first get an idea and then I go into my Torchmate CAD program to put my idea on paper. This way I can work with it until I get it just the way I want it. In this example, I was wanting to make a background for a floor sculpture to hold my copper work I had been working on. I made some copper cattails that I wanted to combine with a steel background. This is how I started working my idea. I first went to the shapes tool and I got a circle and then I made it kind of long and started working with the nodes. Next, I thought I would try the free edit tool and make a rough drawing of something similar to what I did with the circle tool. Either one will work. After I worked with the nodes for a while, I finally got the image that I was looking for. I then made a DXF file. After I cut it out, I continued to work with it by hand until I came up with my finished artwork. At a later time, I decided to make a fountain made out of steel and copper. I pulled up the same background out of my files and put it back into the CAD program. Then I enlarged it to make it bigger and I cut it out of much heavier gauge steel. One evening after dinner, I started thinking about making some kind of a stand or pedestal to display artwork and make the stand into art. I took a paper napkin and started doodling. Later, I took my notes into my office and started putting my ideas into the CAD program. I first drew in a rectangle from the shapes tool and made it nine inches at the top and then came down 36 inches and made it six inches at the bottom. Then I made a beach scene with hundreds of stars and a full moon and seagulls flying in over the Gulf of Mexico, backlit by the moon. I inserted a palm tree and have waves hitting on the beach. Once I had completed the artwork that I wanted, I copied and pasted it into a group of three. I placed them together to save steel as I cut them all out at once. The back side of the pedestal is plain steel and I put a door into it so you could open it and change the bulb. Then I installed electricity and put in a blue bulb. When it is lit, it looks like a neon image. I wanted the top to be different so that I could set artwork on the top of the pedestal and have light reflecting through. I went into my CAD program and opened the shapes tool by left clicking the mouse. Then I right clicked the stars tool. When it opened, I just experimented with a number of points until I got what I wanted. I then made a 9 inch square, rounded the edges, and put the star image into the square. I then made a path to hold them together, then I cut it out. Once I made it all, I cut a piece of translucent acrylic and screwed it to the top. It shows up beautifully. Until next time, keep enjoying working with your metal art.